So first off, what do you name and what do you do at Big DCHS? I'm Jane Volley, and for the last 12 years, I've taught English, um, AP Language, Reading, English 10, AP Literature, and for the first time, I'm going to be an instructional coach this year. One of the beauties of this position is that I get to wear a lot of different hats. So one of them is going to be, you know, in classrooms with teachers. I help um, with ninth grade orientation. I help with student interventions. Um, I help with specific students, I can help teachers plan, and so I get to be with teachers and then also with the larger vision of our school. What has inspired you to become a teacher for the past 12 years and then now an instructional coach and why specifically to BCHS? I love Bear Creek High School. I think the diversity of students here is such a rich environment for learning and and, and growth. And so we can learn not only from teachers and classes, but from one another. And so I am really passionate about that. Um, our school is not like every other school. We have a, a faculty that's incredibly passionate about learning. And I think that drive of learning also translates to our students. Uh, has there been an experience in your life that you has defined you today? And what did it teach you? So I think that my um, childhood really influenced my decision to become an educator. So I was actually born in Scotland, fit like <laughs> me bad. And we moved to America because my dad had um, a bad accident on an offshore oil rig and we needed medical care for him um, in the States. And so my mom was an immigrant and my dad never got better. Um, so he remained disabled, couldn't work, um, and then suffered from alcoholism. And so my mom, as an immigrant without a green card, worked two jobs, worked nights, overnights. Um, and this whole time that this was happening, school was the place that I felt alive, that I felt that I didn't have to worry about all of these other things. And through my mom, I realized that um, hard work is sometimes a sacrifice you make for later things, that there's not an immediate payoff. So um, in school, I worked really hard to make sure that I could, could better myself and better my life. And so that's one of the, the reasons that I've chosen education as a career in hopes that I can help other students with that same goal. Could you tell me a little bit, of, a little bit about your family? So I have um, my husband, Phil. We, um, we met at church, and then we met at a dance club called The Church. And so we knew that that double meeting was fate for us. Um, and so we have two children, five and seven. So my son, Gavin, um, wants to be a teacher and is just, he's like a little mini me. And then my daughter, um, just wants to be a princess and so that's a little challenging for me but fun I get to wear tiaras and tutus yes is there something that the students might not know about you and would you please share gosh well I shared the part about being from Scotland my students know that so sometimes I like to give a whole lecture in Scottish um, but that's something that they know oh my karaoke song, my go-to karaoke song is Lose Yourself by Eminem. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy, there's vomit on his sweater already, mom's spaghetti, he's nervous, but on the surface he looks calm and ready to drop bombs, but he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down, the whole crowd goes so loud, he opens his mouth, but the words won't come out, he's choking how, everybody's choking now, the clock's run out. So what are your hopes for the upcoming school year as the new instructional coach? My hope is that I truly figure out what this role is because there's a lot of different parts to it. Um, 
I hope that I get to be a resource for teachers and that I really get to help work with students um, because that's why we're here is we want students to achieve their potential and so whatever programs, whatever resources we can amass to make that possible is something that I want to help um, provide to teachers. What advice would you like to impart to the upcoming generations which also includes your students? I would say breathe. Um, I think that this generation is incredibly stressed out and I think part of that has to do with technology and all of the competing demands for time and attention and energy and I think it's much harder to be a student today than it was when I was in school because of that and so just taking that time to breathe and process I think is going to make all the difference both emotionally and mentally. Thank you.